Tom Clancy's novel, The Cardinal of the Kremlin, is a gripping tale of espionage, political intrigue, and moral dilemmas set during the height of the Cold War. The novel is part of the Jack Ryan series and follows the eponymous character's efforts to prevent a catastrophic war between the United States and the Soviet Union. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is Clancy's ability to create a sense of tension and suspense throughout the narrative. From the opening scene, where a CIA operative is killed in a daring escape from a Soviet research facility, to the final showdown between Jack Ryan and the ruthless Soviet intelligence officer, Colonel Filatov, the reader is constantly on edge, wondering what will happen next. This tension is further heightened by the intricate plot, which involves multiple layers of espionage, double-crossing, and betrayal. Another strength of the novel is its complex characters. Jack Ryan, the main protagonist, is a multifaceted character with a strong sense of morality and duty. He is both an intelligence analyst and a military strategist, and his insights into both fields are crucial to the success of the mission. However, Ryan is not infallible, he struggles with doubts and fears, and his decisions often have unintended consequences. Similarly, Colonel Filatov, the Soviet intelligence officer, is not a one-dimensional villain. He is a product of his environment, with a deep commitment to his country and his cause. Filatov's ultimate fate is a testament to the moral complexity of the novel, as Ryan is forced to make a difficult decision that will have lasting consequences. The theme of moral ambiguity is central to the novel. Throughout the narrative, the characters are faced with difficult choices, and there are no easy answers. For example, Ryan is tasked with protecting a high-ranking Soviet official, the eponymous cardinal, who has information that could prevent a nuclear war. However, in doing so, he must deceive and betray his own government, risking his career and his personal life. Similarly, Filatov is torn between his loyalty to his country and his conscience, and must ultimately decide where his true allegiance lies. The novel does not offer simple solutions to these dilemmas, but instead asks the reader to consider the moral implications of the character's actions. In addition to its moral complexity, the novel is also notable for its realistic depiction of military and intelligence operations. Clancy's detailed descriptions of weapons, tactics, and technology give the novel a sense of authenticity and verisimilitude. The reader is immersed in a world of high-stakes espionage, where every detail matters and every mistake can be deadly. One of the weaknesses of the novel, however, is its pacing. At times, the narrative can feel slow and meandering, particularly in the middle section of the novel. Clancy's attention to detail, while impressive, can also be overwhelming, and some readers may find themselves losing interest in the minutiae of military and intelligence operations. Overall, The Cardinal of the Kremlin is a thought-provoking and engaging novel that offers a nuanced look at the moral complexities of espionage and international relations. While it may not be for everyone, fans of the Jack Ryan series and readers interested in military and intelligence fiction will find much to enjoy in this gripping, suspenseful novel.